Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Brianna and today is the best day of my life because I'm here with you guys. Okay guys, so I have my wig from Curl Kinks & Co. This is a sensational unit and I received it from Sam's Beauty and here she is. So I loved this unit when I first seen it guys. It's like a um, kinky straight type unit and it has curls and it's just really big textured lace wig. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and it says all curl types from 3B to 4C. So let's see. They have the ones that are like half wigs but I wanted to get the one that was a lace because you guys know I wear full wigs and the way my hair is braided up it's not going to work. This is the curls. They're very bouncy and soft. Um, it sort of feels like kinky straight hair but it also feels like a like soft that soft braiding hair. So um, it's definitely giving you the kinky straight vibes. This is how the lace looks. So it has a designated part which is on the side and this is how it looks in the inside guys. And it has like this lace around the front half. It has a mesh net so it's breathable and it has clips in the back. Okay guys, so this definitely needs a lot of, of course, manipulation, but I love the curls um, and I love the texture of this unit as well. Um, it honestly probably won't hurt if you left a little bit of your own edges out just to kind of hide these parts. And then you have the part here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this lace off. But it's pretty snug. Like this mimics my 
my hair like let's say if I just blew out my hair and just added some quick curls at the bottom like this is what my hair would look like for the most part probably wouldn't be like this full of course guys because this is a wig and honestly they pack the hair down in the hairline area um I didn't feel the need to pluck it just because I have this cute little side part but if you're gonna wear it um not as deep as this then you might want to pluck it but I just kind of brought some of my edges out here on the side and I didn't want to lay them down too much because I never lay down my edges that much guys so I just want it to look as realistic as possible I also used some of the baby hairs in the wig to make some little swoops and swirls at the front and I did show you guys how I achieved that look I used my ORS edge control in my last touch edge brush from the Evers. I'll have um, those two products linked down in the description box. I also have this wig down in the description box. But guys, this wig is serving me realness. I absolutely love it. And um, it does, the curls do tangle a bit and it does shed. But it doesn't shed too, too much. And um, once you run your fingers through it, a little bit the uh, tangles will come out and you'll be able to run your hands through the hair freely once you get the tangles out so guys I have ran my fingers through this wig a lot and as you guys can see the curls are still popping um, like I said you can flatten out the top but I didn't want to because it just looks more realistic with a little bit of hump in it because my hair can honestly never be like flat to my head so yes guys I love this wig the specs and everything about this wig will be down in the description box um let me know down below how you guys like this wig because I love it and it looks so realistic so I'm just gonna run down the specs on this wig one more time it's the heartbreaker color number two um in the textured lace wig from sensational i got it from um sam's beauty and it's for all curl types from 3b to 4c